So if you're listening to this podcast, I'm pretty sure you can relate to me about this one. There was a point in my existence where I realized I couldn't really wear my clothes anymore. I was living in like stretchy yoga pants and I realized that my health had gotten out of control. And although I had avoided it for months and months and months, I decided that I was going to go ahead and step on the scale. I needed to know how bad it was. And so that's exactly what I did. I went to my room, stripped off all of my clothes, trying to make sure that the, the number would read as low as possible. I braced myself and I did one of the silliest things ever and exhaled all of the air out of my lungs, <laughs> thinking that that would make the scale number even lower and took that first step. The number was 277. I was nearly 280 pounds. I pretty much knew it. I knew that it was getting, it was getting high. I just didn't realize that it was that high. I'd been around 250 in the past and I'd been as low as maybe like 170. But never have I ever been as heavy as I was that day. And on a five foot five frame, I knew that it was out of control for me. I shared with my husband and I told him I had to make a change. I knew how to do it. I knew what needed to be done. And to keep myself accountable, I started the Incognito Athlete Podcast. What I didn't know when I started that journey is that I was going to be on this road of self-discovery that I didn't even know was possible. All I wanted was to start losing weight. All I wanted to do was share my story so that other people knew that they weren't alone. All I wanted to do was share the things that I was learning so that other people didn't have to struggle too. But in that time, I learned so much more about myself, so much more about the mental and emotional growth that comes with being an adult, that I took my weight loss journey to the next level. I'm now a wellness mindset coach. I help people like myself and maybe even like you to lose weight for good. There's no silly gimmicks. It's just comprised of the stuff that no one has ever taught us. The things that we're often told not to talk about. The things that we are often afraid to share with each other. But every single one of us faces, deals with, and suffers from, from day to day. So today... I've decided I'm leveling up yet again for myself, but more for you. What has fondly been the Incognito Athlete podcast for so long now is now the Weight Loss Unmasked podcast, powered by Unmasked Wellness and me, Erica Guerreri. Let's do this. It means a world to me that you are here today. Welcome, welcome. If this is your first time here, this is a pretty decent episode for you to jump in. But chances are you've been a loyal listener and I owe you a massive amount of gratitude for being here. And hopefully I've been helpful to you up until this point. I only commit to offering you even more from this point forward. So what the heck? Why this change? What is the big deal? It's actually a really big deal here, and I want to get into that in this episode today. We're going to talk about what it means to live unmasked. You see, I lived incognito for so, so very long. I was hiding behind a mask. I just plainly wasn't being myself. I was following, following other people, doing what other people told me I should think, do, feel. I was not leading just floating along through life on autopilot, hoping that somebody or some magic pill would get me straight and on a path to some semblance of happiness. Do you feel like this ever at times where it's kind of dark and gloomy, you know, you're afraid or feeling emotional about where your life is headed? I mean, we're like the stars in our own story. But a lot of times we end up just trying to mirror what we see around us rather than just being who the heck we are. And from that, the incognito athlete was born. I felt like I was capable 
of, of so much. I was getting so strong working out at CrossFit, but I was never going to be seen as an athlete because of my shape and my weight. And you know, at the time, I felt like that really helped to communicate where I was, who I was, and connect with other people who felt that way, that maybe you are capable of things, but you're just not seen. I was proud of that moniker, and I still am, because that was a place in my life where I started to acknowledge what I was capable of, that I was an athlete, and I could do so many amazing things despite the fact that maybe other people didn't think I could or even should. So once I saw the truth and began to live in alignment with myself, I was no longer the incognito athlete. I now live unmasked. I've figured it out. I know the path to understanding ourselves and living a truly aligned life that is going to hit all the sweet spots for you to open up a whole new world that truly is one of health and happiness. It's no longer that cycle of living a harmful diet centric, small and cynical place that many of us are familiar with. So have I lost the hundred pounds yet? No. And that was part of the goal that the incognito athlete would lose a hundred pounds. And at that mile marker, That's when I would be free. (laughs) How silly of me to think of that. We don't need to reach that certain marker, certainly not a number on a scale for us to find our self-worth. The awareness, the awakening that I experienced is what brought down the veil to lead me to a lifestyle and existence that is me, Erica. I'm now in a place where I use my mind as a tool and don't let it run me and my life. I act with intention. I plan. I succeed. I progress. I do not settle for the same old, same old. And I'm going to tell you what, it is a freaking amazing place to be. I used to actually pride myself in calling myself a chameleon, that I could adapt to different situations, different groups of people, and get along with pretty much everybody. It wasn't that I was pretending, so to speak. I was never being deceitful. I just never was truly being myself. And and in this process, I have really rediscovered the sassy, bubbly, exuberant, energetic person that I am. And I love it. I love living unmasked. And so my whole thing here, my whole purpose and my gift to you is to continue to educate, provide you with opportunities to also live unmasked. What the heck does this actually mean? Okay. I'm telling you how good I feel, but what does that actually look like? There are three major things that I attribute to the definition of living unmasked. The first one is you are awake. You see the truth versus the lies that you've been telling yourself. And you're in a place where you are finally owning and showing who you really are. The second thing, you are in control. You will avoid distractions like people pleasing and indulgences knowing that they don't align with who you are. The things that you used to long for, crave for, may actually have been the things that were holding you back. And being in control, you are no longer a slave to those things. And number three, you are happy. What an elusive and subjective word, right? Happy. What does that even mean? Well, we all have a different definition of happy. And that's what's so cool about this and so cool about the coaching that I offer too is that I'm not going to try to get you to be like me. I'm not going to encourage you to be a carbon copy of this certain persona. I want you to find your own level of happiness. But it it, it is going to be found intrinsically within you and not by surrounding yourself with things or people that bring you joy. Instead, it'll be 
you making choices that truly align with you and bring you new levels of satisfaction, fulfillment, success, and utter freaking joy. So as you can imagine, after you are feeling awake, after you are in control, and after you feel happy, your result is that happy and healthy life that I keep talking about every single week. And so today, I ceremoniously close the chapter on the incognito athlete. I thank her and I embrace her for giving me the courage to put myself first, to set healthy boundaries for myself, and to actually learn who I am so that I can be happy and I can serve others. I now know my purpose in life. I now know the gift that I can offer and I can do it for you. So whether you continue listening to this podcast or you want to check out some of my resources, please know that I am always here for you. I'm expanding my services so that I can reach you in a place that you are today for my podcast, free downloads, courses, and one-on-one coaching. You can find all of that information at unmaskedwellness.com. But here's the thing. I'm a person and you're a person. So I encourage you to just send me an email. If you have questions, concerns, or just want to talk, my email is erica at unmaskedwellness.com. Please know that my podcast format will change very little. I'm going to continue to share personal stories about myself. I'll even share about what's going on with my continued weight loss journey. Transparency is key for us to be able to make strides together. I want you to be able to learn from me so that you too can live a life that is so full of health and happiness. Thank you so much for being here today and every day that you have ever listened to the Incognito Athlete Podcast. Next week, I'm going to find you on your favorite podcast platform as Weight Loss Unmasked. And please always remember, you are strong, you are fierce, and you've got this. See you next week.